The FMA is the interface between the aircraft and the pilots, if you will. The upper portion of the PFE is dedicated through five columns to giving you information about the flight management and guidance system. It can be made more clear than that. This is what the flight management and guidance system is doing. The first column is the auto thrust mode. It will tell you if the aircraft auto thrust system is in speed mode or thrust mode and which mode it is. Then there is the vertical mode. The second column is the vertical mode and it will tell what the aircraft guidance system is doing in the vertical third column is the lateral. The lateral mode again with the type of mode will show to the pilots and it can show both the active and the armed mode so what is going to come next. The fourth column is dedicated to the approach capability of the aircraft and only shows up when the aircraft is armed for an approach and it will show cat 3 single, cat 3 dual or cat 1 or 2 if you have degraded performance. It is what the aircraft is capable of doing in terms of approach. But it is indeed the flight management and guidance system that's telling I have this capability in terms of guidance. You can choose this type of approach. The fifth column is the automation level. It will show the modes for the flight director, the autopilot, and the auto thrust. The flight directors and the autopilots can only show on in white or they can show no indication that means they're off but the auto thrust can show either white active or blue on in the lesson on indicating and recording systems we talk much more about the individual columns right here but tie it together with the information we have just learned because what is not covered in the indicating and recording chapter is the modes that i just went through and how the flight directors flight guidance etc work together these two lessons need to be tied together for full understanding on the auto flight system. All mode changes are shown with white boxes for 10 seconds and the FMA confirmation is a mandatory call out by the pilots, but that box draws the attention to the crew that something has changed and requires a mandatory call out saying FMA. And then you say the mode, the other pilot will respond by saying check. The FMA uses color coding. This was also covered in the lesson on indicating and recording systems. But just to recap, green means active, blue means armed, white is engaged, so on and off. Then we have cautions, which are amber, warnings, which are red, and of course, magenta constraints. This would be an altitude constraint, for example, on the FMA, showing that the aircraft is right now holding an altitude constraint and it will then be going into the managed climate ascent after. This was a short video on a specific topic. If you want to see the full video or see the hundreds of videos we made available for professional content on aviation theory, head on to our eLearning Academy at academy.mindspacex.com. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us. We're going to be putting out these videos regularly.